Hey, Marty. Yeah. We have so many comments saying that we could have saved $32,000 on our well. What? Something about the wonderful way the sun is coming up today. It's saying everything's all right. There are so many comments telling us that we could have saved all that money had we collected rainwater or dug a shallow well, just like Red Poppy Ranch did. You guys have really got us thinking whether drilling a well was a good idea or not, or whether we made a huge mistake in doing so. So first thing we wanna do is break down the cost of our well. It's 517 feet deep and it costs $48 per foot. There's casing that goes all the way down. There is a screen at the bottom. We also have the cost of the permit and the cost of the well cap. That total came out to $32,166. Now we also installed our own pump. So we have the cost of the pump, the pipe, the wire, and the generator that we had to buy. And all that cost about $1,500. So in total, it cost $33,666. If you haven't seen our well drilling video or a pump installation video, both of those links are in the description of this video. So in the comments and emails, you guys seem to be saying that we pretty much wasted $33,000 by drilling that well, when we could have just collected rainwater or dug a shallow well like Red Poppy Ranch. So let's go over to the house and we'll talk a little bit about rainwater collection. By the time our house is done being built, we'll have about 340,000 square inches of roof space that we could collect rainwater on. Here in our area, it rains about 34 inches a year. That's gonna give us right around 50,000 gallons of water per year if we collected all of the rain that fell on our roof. The average American uses 80 to 100 gallons of water for household domestic use. That comes out to, for a family of four, right around 142,000 gallons of water per year. 142,000 gallons of water per year. That doesn't include watering the lawn, uh, watering animals, or watering the garden. That's just use inside the house. Showering, bathing, washing dishes, doing clothes, and things like that. Just from the numbers alone, you can see that collecting rainwater off of our roof would not be enough water for our family throughout the year. The other thing that you guys said we should have done rather than drill that well was develop this well more. What you wanted us to do was actually put in a shallow well here by digging a huge hole here with an excavator, probably a 10 foot diameter hole. Then you lower three foot culvert pipes. You lower those down in there until it comes up to probably right about here on ground level. Then we're going to fill in with this with tons of gravel all around that, cover it back up with dirt, and basically you're going to have a three foot diameter, 18 foot deep well right here where this guy is. That's a great idea. However, we are so far away from our house that it is impractical for us to trench all the way from here all the way up to where our house is. Both rainwater catchment and a shallow well are really great ideas for getting inexpensive water on your homestead. And so we were still thinking about it and still like mulling it over in our minds. So we contacted a realtor friend of ours and asked him about it. And he said, yeah, it is way, way, way better to have a certified well on your property rather than collecting rainwater or having a shallow well. And that's because when people want to buy your property, they can get a traditional mortgage. You can't do that with a rainwater catchment system or a shallow well. Did we waste $32,000? I don't think so. You know, rainwater catchment systems and shallow wells, they are excellent ideas. And they will work perfectly for a lot of different people and a lot of different homesteads. It's just not the right one for us. So if that's what you choose to go with on your homestead, then I wish you the best success with it and that it provides you with all the water that you need. If you'd like to see what else is going on here in our homestead, there's a video right over there you can go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling and we'll see you over in that video in just a second.